Today I'm gonna talk about a couple of very interesting Blender add-ons that can help you to generate fantastic wireframe and ambient occlusion renderings, which is crucial for concept artists, product and industrial designers, and of course architects. Chalk style. You can use this add-on to create ambient occlusion wireframe renderings, like what you can do using Blender's freestyle, in addition to having more control over the process, especially if you don't have a lot of experience. Chalk Style Pro uses native OpenGL and EV shade renders to create the necessary layers for compositing a final image. When you render using this add-on, it automatically renders four different images. And after the render is displayed, you can continue to tweak it using the compositor controls, including changing the lighting, which is fantastic. Without using this add-on, you will have to use Freestyle to adjust around 50 separate settings to get to the final render and it doesn't handle wireframes particularly well and requires a lot of manual object tweaking to get it to work. But with Chalk Style, it is as easy and fast as it can get. With just one button, you can do this with a 10 to 100 times faster rendering times compared to using Blender's Freestyle. You can control line weight and the relative darkness of the ambient occlusion pass after you have done the render. You can even adjust the lighting in the render after it is done, which is fantastic as well. Using this add-on is very simple. First, you have to position your objects on the screen or use the current camera view and choose the element you want to render. And press the Render Talk Style Pro button and Blender will quickly render four types of images in a temp folder. An ambient occlusion, an outline line drawing image, a wireframe drawing image, and a normal AXR image. You can also make changes to how the final render looks by making changes to these four images. Now we're gonna talk about sketch style. It is an add-on that can be used for ambient occlusion, clay and sketch type of renderings, like what we can find in professional software that have the ability to create non-realistic renders such as SketchUp. Sketch style can be used by concept artists, product designers and architects who need or like the look of line drawings. Like talk style, what this add-on can do can be done using Blender, but it is gonna be tedious and time consuming. Also, it can be difficult to toggle back and forth between a photoreal render setup and a freestyle one. This tool can deal with those problems, furthermore, it has the ability to selectively assign photoreal materials to the sky style scene. This add on is usually needed for the initial design phases, and sometimes it is better to use this style of rendering because clients have an inherent expectation when looking at line drawings that they are reviewing only concepts and not final designs. The way this add-on works is simple but powerful and the results are great. It works with both Cycles and EV, along with custom sketch style overwrite settings, a custom word setting, and Blender's powerful freestyle to create a new scene in the current blend file. This scene can be then toggled on and off and the renders are created and by loading different setting files, different render effects can be created. There is also an override system that works in Eevee and allows you to selectively apply override materials. This means that transparent objects like glass, emissive lights and reflective mirrors, and even decals can be rendered with the override materials in sketch style. The override system allows for keeping different set of materials when rendering sketch style versus rendering your original scene. Another very helpful thing with this add-on is that it comes with a bunch of presets and you have the ability to create, save and load your own presets, which saves you a lot of time. Recently in SketchStyle 2.0, there has been an update through which you can see different presets using the thumbnail viewer, making it easier than ever to choose the look you are after. If you are interested in line renderings or ambient occlusion renderings, I highly recommend these couple of add-ons. They are going to save you a lot of time, effort and frustration along the way. Also, they are going to save you money if your work includes these things. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.